Hey guys, it's foundation time. How's everybody doing at home today? Good. Baby Echo, well, he's doing well. He's just hanging out. He misses you guys, but he's seeing the other half of um, all your friends in their class this week. Um, yet Baby Echo still needs to get a mask made. It keeps falling off of him, and I keep telling him, you can't be in school without your mask, but he's like, well, I'm an owl, and technically the rules set all people, so we keep arguing. Anyways, let's get going with our warm-up. Let's start with our vowel sounds. Here we go. A apple a. A safe a. A acorn a. A wash a. A squash a. A Alaska a. E ed a. E p e. E me e. I itch e. I pine i. I hi I. I animal I I animal a. Uh. I champion e. O octopus a. Uh. O home o. O no o. You up a. Uh. You mule you. You rule u. You pupil you. You flew, ooh. Why cry I? Why baby E? And today we are also going to do our R control poster for warm up. Please hold. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. U R burn er. And you know what? Let's just review a couple of our sounds on my board up here. ONG song ong. UNG lung ung. ONK honk onk. What are those called, everybody? Glued sounds. That's right. All the green cards are glued sounds. And then remember these guys down here the glued sound exceptions. They're exceptions because they actually say the long vowels. I-L-D, wild, ild. I-N-D, kind, ind. O-L-D, cold, old. O-L-T, colt, old. O-S-T, post, oast. The long vowels are the exceptions. All the other glued sounds say the short vowel sounds. Okay, great. Now we're ready to get some learning going on. We're going to play a little game. Watch this nonsense word I'm going to build. Can you see it? Okay. You can start making the sounds with your mouth as you see me bring out the card. Okay, everyone, what's the word? Shribe, very good. What kind of syllable is it? Vowel, consonant, E. So the vowel says long I. Okay. What does it say now? Shrib. What kind of syllable? Closed. What does the I say? I. How about now? Shry. Syllable type? Open, vowel sound, long I. Nice. Help me spell it away. S-H. R. I. Okay, let's do another word chain like this. Please get ready to read it and tell me the syllable type. What's the word? Quine. Syllable type? Vowel consonant E. Vowel sound? I. Ta da! What's the word now? Quinn. Vowel type? Syllable type? Closed. Vowel sound? Short I. Eh, eh, eh. What about now? Quai. Syllable type? Oh, yeah, it's open. There's nothing there. And what does the I say? Says I. 
Nice job. I'm going to put these buddies, these buddy letters away. Put my eye over here, get situated. Okay, let's do another word change and chain. And yes, these are nonsense words. They don't make any sense. Um, here we go. We have one more. And I want to have another E, but I don't have one on me. So I'm going to locate my marker. What's the word? Sweek. Kind of like that word. What's the syllable type? Vowel, consonant, E. Vowel sound? E, long E. All right, let's erase that E. What does it say now? Sweck. Syllable type? Closed in. Vowel sound? Eh. Say now, sweet. Syllable type, open. Vowel sound, e. Nice job, everybody. Okay, friends. So we've been talking about prefixes. Remember, a prefix comes at the beginning of a word, not less suffix. Suffix is at the end. It comes before a word. Last week or the past few days, we started talking about closed syllable prefixes. Let's read over them. Read them to me. Try to beat me. Sub, in, im, ill, m, con, trans, un, non, free. Wait a second. Pre is an open syllable. This is going to go in my other pack that we're going to talk about next. Okay, so all those syllables that we just talked about are closed syllables. They're closed in with a consonant. And notice that on all my cards, there's a line after to remind you that this is a prefix because a base word is coming after. And don't forget that in your student notebook if you have one yet there is this resource page that reminds you of all of the closed syllable prefixes and their meanings and all the open syllable prefixes and their meanings okay so all of the open prefixes i have right here let's read these over together and again i want you to try to beat me when you read it here we go. Pre, yep, since it's open. What's that? Well, that was a writing lesson coming up. That was crazy. Okay, remember it's an open syllable, so this vowel is going to say its name. Pre, beat me. Re, pro, e, but it usually actually sounds like eh. D, N, what are you doing in this category? N and X, these are closed in. And dis and miss, these were miscategorized. These are all closed in, so we'll put them over here in our closed syllable prefix pack. So yes, there are only five that are open. Let's talk about what these mean for you. B, pre means before. Re means to do it again, like rewrite your paper, write it again. Pro means it's something you're in favor of, something that you want and you wanna move forward with it. E means out of or away. And the last one, D, means opposite. Okay. So take a look. I'm going to bring down a syllable frame and write the open syllable prefix, re, which we know means to do something again. And my base word is going to be fill. So when we put it together, it means refill. So to fill it, Again, I need to refill the cookie jar because baby Echo ate all the cookies. Come on, baby Echo. 
I'm going to refill it with Oreos, you know, the Halloween kind that have the orange inside. Mm -hmm. Refill. Okay. I'm going to give you some other words now, and I want you to try to come up with the meaning and use it in a sentence for me. Okay. Remake. What do you think remake is? To make something again, that's right. Like that movie is a remake of the original. Let me try this one. D. Frost. We know that D means opposite, so to not be frost, I need to defrost the chicken so I can cook it. Great job. Okay, now, if you have your notebook, here's what you're going to do. If you don't have your notebook, we are, well, we'll skip ahead. If you don't have your notebook, don't worry. If you have your notebook, I want you to go ahead and add a few examples at the bottom. It says add examples of closed syllable. And then it says add examples of open syllable prefixes. So under the closed syllable line where there's a little more room, you're going to add dislike as another example. And for the open syllables, you're going to add to your notebook unkind. Okay, after you've done that, the very last thing that we're going to do is a little dictation. So everybody should be taking out their paper like this and getting ready to write some words with these prefixes. Okay, we're going to do three words with open and closed syllables. The first word, repeat after me. Please hold. Okay. Word is pre shrunk. Remember, you can use the syllable boxes at the top if you would like, but you don't have to. Pre is the prefix shrunk and then you need to put the word together down here the shirt came from the store pre-shrunk it was already shrunk so that when she washed it it wouldn't shrink again okay what kind of prefix was that open syllable or closed yep it's open okay try this next one repeat after me non-profit Please write the word. Nonprofit. If you get stuck, tap it out. Non n on profit. P er a ah, fit it. A three syllable word. Non profit. And then I'd like you to scoop the syllables and check it with mine. Nonprofit. What kind of syllable is the prefix? There it is, yep, closed in. Okay, repeat after me. Proactive. You should be writing. Don't just wait for me to show you the answer. Think, tap it out if you're stuck. Okay, scoop it, pro. Active, proactive, and check your work with mine. Okay, my friends, we are going to stop there for the day. Nice job with prefixes. Keep finding them all around you, and we'll be back tomorrow to do some more work.